This presentation is titled Open AI Mode Demo for Mathematica Notebooks. My name is Anton Antonov. Today is April 2nd, 2023. Before proceeding with the uh, slides of the presentation, let me show what is this about very quickly. So uh, here we convert uh, any Mathematica Notebook with default styling, we convert it into Open AI Mode style. And this allows us to have these uh, cells with which we can interact with OpenAI and um, I can convert this text completion cell which is with uh, pale green into an uh, image generation cell which is with uh, this um, pale blue or pale purple and now I can execute it and presumably get something, uh, some image related to the uh, text prompt in the cell. All right, yeah, so this was, you know, this was uh, obviously related to what it was requested. So to proceed with the, the slides here of the presentation, it is assumed that the OpenAI link packlet is installed. So OpenAI mode is based on OpenAI link. And it is also assumed that the different configuration and setup uh, steps for OpenAI link have been, um, have been followed through. OpenAI mode, uh, this is again, you know, a packlet in the Wolfram language uh, packlet repository is installed in this way here with packlet install and um, we activate it with needs um, Anton Antonov, OpenAI mode. All right, so now let's, uh, let's make a, um, a demo from scratch. So I'm going to generate uh, or create a new, new notebook. We're going to zoom here, say uh, twice. So I'm going to convert the style of this uh, notebook into open AI mode. And uh, I'm going to create a new text completion cell with the shortcut shift vertical arrow. And here I'm going to ask something like say, where is uh, the gold or the Incas? And this gave us a result, but unfortunately, this result is um, it's not very it's not um, it's not complete. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use certain option setting of the underlying executor function. So this cell here, the text completion cell, it has an execution function, and that function is OpenAI input execute to text. And I'm going to increase the number of um, of um, of uh, tokens and I'm going to reevaluate uh, this cell here below. All right, so yeah, we're getting better results here. All right, so let's actually uh, make a image uh, generation um, uh, cell. And so I'm going again to use a shift vertical line and I'm going to press tab. And uh, now we see what from pale green, we move to pale blue or pale purple. And then I'm going to say uh, something like say Incas uh, gold in the style of um, Anonymous Bush. Okay. And so this is going to produce some image. So, um, well, by default, this um, this using the largest uh, the largest images, but we can change that. And one way to do that is to is to do again to tweak the option settings. How I did it for the uh, Open AI input execute to text. The executor for the image generation cells is Open AI input execute to image. Right. And so here I can say. Uh, use the the setting uh, for uh, image size small and presumably we're going to get some other image which is uh, with small size. All right, so it is. Great. Um, so basically uh, this is the essential part of the of the demo. So how does this work? All right? So this uh, flowchart shows that we have this uh, user input. We place it say in the text completion cell, the text completion cell involves OpenAI input execute to, to text, which uh, goes to the OpenAI link. OpenAI link goes to OpenAI. It's a web service with the corresponding web APIs. Similarly for image generation. 
after we have OpenAI link has obtained the results from OpenAI, the results are uh, placed in the output cell. So uh, very similar work with uh, Raku mode and DSL mode, which is very similar uh, in spirit. And, in, and so I basically reused this uh, work I did like, well, I think two years ago about connecting Mathematica and Raku. There's also something uh, um, similar uh, being done by the um, functions dark mode and Dracula mode in the Wolfram function repository. Yeah. I'm not going to demonstrate them here, but they, they can be quite uh, useful. So uh, future plans for this, I think more documentation, more uh, refactoring of the underlying architecture in order to make the package more useful. I think it is useful as this right now. Based on, on feedback, probably better default option settings uh, need to be, to be implemented and probably additional OpenAI cells uh, need to be implemented. It's an interesting question. Should this uh, notebook style functions be part of OpenAI link? Uh, I'm on the fence on this. I think, I think they should be, but then maybe it's a very good idea to, to have the two types of functionalities separated as it is right now. All right, thank you.